In order to ensure the enforceability and authority of an arbitral decision, it is necessary that the jurisdiction where the matter is to be heard recognise arbitration as a competent form of dispute resolution. Consequently, one of the most important aspects of arbitration law is to ensure there is not a clash in jurisdiction between an arbitral tribunal and the courts. This is safeguarded through the doctrine of competence. competence. The doctrine of competence ensures that international arbitral tribunals have the authority or competence to consider and decide disputes concerning their own jurisdiction. The advantage of the doctrine of competence is that the scope for one party to delay the proceedings by claiming there is a lack of jurisdiction and instead taking the matter to the courts is considerably reduced. Without the doctrine, the determination of jurisdiction could be endless. The effects of the doctrine are often considered to be both positive and negative. While it authorises the tribunal to consider and decide jurisdictional challenges, national courts are not permitted to consider jurisdiction objections on an interlocutory basis, but must instead await the tribunal's decision and award. The lack of authority of the judiciary to challenge the jurisdiction of the tribunal to hear the dispute, at least until after the award has been handed out, is often referred to as the negative effect of the competence doctrine. Most national legal systems recognise some version of the principle and it is almost universally accepted as a foundation of international arbitration. It is necessary to examine the doctrine's incorporation into the legal framework of international commercial arbitration and its conventions. While the application of the competence doctrine or the scope of the arbitral tribunal's competence to decide on issues is not expressly provided for in the New York Convention, Articles 2.3 and 5.1 both recognise that arbitral tribunals and courts may consider and decide disputes about the arbitrator's jurisdiction to hear a matter. Consequently, the New York Convention should be interpreted as requiring, absent to a prior agreement, contracting states to allow the arbitral tribunal to make decisions regarding their own jurisdiction. If not per permitted to consider jurisdictional disputes, this would impede the entire arbitral process. The competence of the arbitral tribunal is expressly authorised in Article 16 of the Unsatral Model Law. Under the Model Law, arbitrators are presumed to have authority to consider and preliminarily decide disputes in their own jurisdiction, subject to later judicial review. Further, almost all institutional rules adopt the doctrine. The presumption of competence to hear a dispute may be expressly altered by the parties in their arbitral agreement either to permit the arbitral tribunal to finally resolve the dispute without option of judicial recourse or to deny the arbitrator's competence. When considering whether the arbitral tribunal is given the competence to decide on jurisdictional disputes on a contractual basis, it is often argued that the doctrine of competence is closely linked to the presumption of separability. The separability presumption concerns the substantive existence and validity of an arbitration agreement, while the doctrine of competence concerns the tribunal's authority to consider and rule on jurisdictional issues in instances where there is a challenge to the existence, validity or scope of an arbitration agreement. In instances where there is a challenge to the scope, rather than the existence or validity of an agreement, there can be a contractual basis for the doctrine of competence. In such a case, the doctrine of competence can rest on the adjudicatory character of the arbitrator's authority written into the agreement to arbitrate. However, this is not the case for disputes challenging the validity of an arbitration agreement, as the presumption of separability is simply separating the agreement to arbitrate from the underlying contract, it is unlikely the doctrine of competence can be derived from this principle. Instead, the doctrine should be derived from the applicable law governing the arbitral tribunal's authority. National and international external legal rules must provide that international arbitral tribunals have the authority to consider and to decide disputes regarding their own jurisdiction, which is why, as discussed before, most states include provision for the doctrine in their arbitral legislation. So to conclude, the doctrine of competence is given effect through national arbitration legislation, ensuring the arbitral tribunal has the authority to hear and decide on challenges to their jurisdiction.